Hello everyone, welcome to another Minecraft video. This video, I'll be showing you my 7 segment display design. So, first I'll explain what a 7 segment display is. Um, let me just turn this off. So a 7 segment display is a simple uh, display. Um, this is a word used outside of Minecraft. Um, and basically there are 7 different uh, rows of lights that can be turned off or on. And this can create all the 9 digits. Um, including zero um, to create any number so this is what um, things like digital clocks and stuff use and um, this is my design uh, that you can use in Minecraft so it has a couple of neat features but before I explain that first I would like to say that um, this would not be possible without a certain um, video that I watched and it is a Java edition video and um, it is this feed tape uh, say layout. So the different fill levels of um, on Java they use cauldrons, but now we have composters which are uh, cheaper. And this comparator and light layout to create this super compact um, design that can easily be tiled. And so yeah, I'll definitely be putting that in the description. I do not know who uh, made this exact feed tape design. Uh, because um, pretty much every Java uh, 7 segment display video I've seen uses this layout and I wasn't really able to find out who originally created it so I'll just put in the description the video I saw first that uses this and uh, I will be doing a tutorial for this so first this is uh, four wide and tileable so that you can put these next to each other and um, they won't affect each other at all. And there's only a one uh, block gap between them. And you can increase the number by one every time you press this button. All the way through. Nine, and once it gets to nine, it'll go back down to zero. And if you put these next to each other, every time you press uh, this button here, as you can see, it will activate this one. And you just saw that this one went to zero, which means that this one will increment uh, up by one. And that is done with this observer. So when it's zero, it would power this block. And that will translate over to this redstone dust that activates the next circuit and you could also put buttons here to increase it by whatever value each one of these are and also this can run at a speed of uh, six game ticks I mean six redstone tick clock so this right here so it can um, perfectly keep up with, for example, if you wanted to make a clock and you wanted this to be seconds, it would be perfectly fine. It can keep up. And it is not in perfect sync, but it's not too bad. You can still kind of understand what number it is. Um, it's a bit harder when it's at this speed, though. So you can see this goes up to 8, 9, 10. And it go around. And this will increment up by one. And this is um very compact. And it took a pretty long time making sure that each um slice or um display is not affecting the ones near it. Um uh, so yeah, um I'll be doing a tutorial next. So the space you need is a uh, 4 by 9 by 8 so uh, 4 blocks this way and um, 9 blocks back and then it is 8 tall so um, the first thing you're going to want to do is create the display itself so you're going to want to come 
uh, over here. Tilt this up. So the frame can be any block, except for um, redstone lamps, I guess. Then you fill in the redstone lamp so it looks like it creates the number 8. There we go. And then the next thing you want to do is put a button here, then a piston, and a observer. Like this some redstone dust then you're going to want to put blocks here and dust along the top like this now that you've done that you're going to want to put uh, pistons in these areas so this one goes six blocks up, and then three across. Then what you're going to want to do next is put a repeater here, and blocks like this, and rest on dust across. Now even though this doesn't look like it's pointing into this block, uh, it actually is. It's just a visual glitch. So when we power this, the piston will still get powered, and it will not affect the line next to it that will be like this so you'll see that um, a lot in this contraption and it's very helpful then what we're going to want to do next is put a block here put glass there put rest on dust on top of these block uh, pistons a repeater on two ticks a block above it and dust on top and we can put a block here and we can tower up with glass. Like this. You can also put redstone dust on top of here. Block here. Repeater on two ticks. We can put some blocks here. A block there again. And we can put some more dust here. And actually, this needs to be rest, uh, glass. And we can bring this up by another block. And we can replace that with a block. Actually, wait, this does not need to be a block, but um, it can be if you want to make it cheaper. Um, then you're going to want to put comparators here and here, then a block in front of them, like that. You're going to want to go down by a block and put a comparator there. And actually, you might have to break these blocks temporarily there and close it off then you're going to want to put blocks like that compared to here and dust there and do the same thing on this side and one last comparator here I think that goes, sorry about this, I guess it just goes on the bottom, I have horrible memory, <laughs> this block right here, and we can place dust here, and a block there like that, there we 
we go. So now, um, a way to test if this all works is just get a lever and power everywhere where there's a comparator. Looks like these right here. And, oops, these got broken. And now everything gets powered. And this one can turn off or on depending on the signal strength. So that's what um, makes this compact, um, this layout very compact. So yeah, huge credit to um, the Java Edition people that have figured out this mechanic. Um, I'm sorry that I wasn't able to figure out exactly uh, who made it. But... Um, Next, we're going to want to do the actual feed tape. So let me just clear my inventory. So the feed tape is going to be made out of a couple blocks, um, quartz or any solid block, um, glass or something that's transparent, uh, composters or um, cauldrons, and then um, this one last one will have an observer. So um, each one of these signs represent how fill uh, the comparator or cauldron um, the composter or the cauldron needs to be I recommend using pumpkin pie let's see or cake but pumpkin pie is easier to make um, and the reason is is because every time you use pumpkin pie it will go up by one no matter what if we use something for example like bamboo Oh, I guess bamboo does not work. Um, so like beetroot. Uh, when that noise is different, that means it's not moving, uh, going up a level. So then you might not get the right amount. So pumpkin pie is the easiest. So, um, I'll be going through each of these. Um, so I'll pause the video here in case you want to, um, go through them, uh, one by one. So here is the first layer, and then this is the second layer, and this is the third. So then we can start um, filling these in real quick. So I'll do that off camera because it's a bit time consuming. So I've now filled up all of the composters. So now we can try doing a test run. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, and back to 0. Now, a couple of things. This redstone dust is only needed if you are going to tile this, because that is what um, connects the two of them together. So, um, if it's, for example, the very uh, rightmost um, display, um, this is not needed. So, that's why I just have something different here. I'll be explaining how to do that later. And um, this observer is also used for tiling. So if this is on the very edge, or if it's just one single counter, you don't need both of these. And that is pretty much it for this um, tutorial. Next, I'll be showing you how you can hook up um, something like this. Now, the reason why I am um, using this specific clock is because um, I don't want to send two pulses. So, every time this is on, no matter when you flick it, it retracts. If it was, um, for example, something, uh, let's say, let's say that, um, when the contraption is off, it is in this position. 
problem is if you turn it off right when this piston had just extended and is about to retract you can double pulse this and that can break the piston feed tape which will be a pain to remake so that's why this specific clock is used um sadly this means that you can't hook up a button right here um, but it would be pretty easy to hook up a button pretty much anywhere even just right here real quick let's just get a button right here and actually i guess not there but somewhere like um you could get a repeater something this would work like that and that will function too so that's pretty much it for this video uh, make sure that the clock is not any faster than this or it will jam and thank you guys for watching uh, see you in the next rest of the video bye